I am Jessica Patterson of Spinning Shadows Fiber Arts and today I would like to talk with you about one of the awesome Christmas presents I received and that was the um, a null binding well a set of null binding needles from the Spanish Peacock. Um, this is one of them here. It's um, what he called uh, is called Gemwood. Um, it's a multicolored um, sort of applied wood, um, you know, colors that have been merged together and he cut them out into these really nifty null binding needles. And I've been using one to work on my husband's cowl slash shoulder warmer slash, you know, experimental null binding project. And I really just wanted to, you know, talk about it. Um, it's really lightweight. Um, I was surprised. I was almost afraid to use these because it was so light. I've been using a bone null binding needle for all my projects up until this point, and I was afraid that I was gonna, gonna like snap it in two. Um, but once I got used to working with it, I really am pleased with how it works. It's got this nice rounded tip on it and a nice big eye for putting the yarn through and it just is really pleasant to look at and uh, really really worth the 10 bucks plus shipping that we paid for each one for a Christmas present. I just think it's just so cool. There's other ones that are like pink and blue and I think green. I'm not sure. I'll leave a link in the description to them. And I do believe he sells some um, plain wood colored ones. So if you're in the market for null binding needles, um, I definitely recommend checking out the Spanish Peacock because um, these are really well made and I'm absolutely pleased. So let me just set that one down and I'll show you. Um, I've got this one I'm using with my hand spun. This is some really chunky hand spun for doing the neck of my husband's cowl. And um, it just, I like the rounded tip that I don't split my yarn. It's really easy to find the stitches and go through them with it. And despite my fears that it would snap, it doesn't. <laughs> it's holding up perfectly well. And uh, it's just made working on this really fun because I have a pretty needle to work with and it works well. It's really smooth and it the tapering is very gentle so it just I really haven't had any problems with getting the needle stuck. It's mostly my yarn <laughs> that gets stuck on the um, on itself basically when I'm doing the stitches but as you can see that's not that big of a problem. This is getting towards the limit of texture that I would, you know, find pleasant for working with nail bonding. But since this yarn is so poofy, it, um, it, it glides, so it's not that big of a deal that it's textured. Um, so yeah, um, definitely recommend checking out the Spanish Peacock, checking out their nail binding needles. They also have, um, other things like um, plying stands for their spindles. They have spindle stands and spindles, obviously. Um, well, maybe not obviously. If you've never heard of the Spanish Peacock, he is a spindle maker that makes just gorgeous spindles. And quite a few of them of this kind of wood that this, um, I'm not quite sure what to call it. Um, but this multicolored wood, uh, I believe it's called Spectra Ply, actually. Um, and they're just are really lovely spindles. And from what I've seen, they spin really well. He does mostly supported spindles, but I've also seen some really beautiful drop spindles as well. So I have yet to get a uh, Spanish Peacock spindle, but they're definitely on the list of want to have for the collection. Um, especially his ninja spindle, which is supposed to spin really fast. Um, it's a supported spindle. But yeah, so 
that's about it. Um, let me know what you think in the description below. If you're interested in null binding, I do have a tutorial on my YouTube page and I'll leave, try to leave a link in the description below to it. And, um, you know, if you're interested in learning this, this craft, which is, as you can see, it just requires yarn and a, and a needle. Um, and what you think of this Spanish peacock knoll binding needle. Um, would it be something you would put on your list of tools? Um, and yeah, so let me know in the comments below. Leave a like if you liked this video. Hit subscribe for more. There will be more spinning and blending and spindle talks. Um, and yeah, so as always, have a, have a great day and hope you're having a great new year too. So, and I'll definitely be back to tell you, to show you how this beast is turning out. <laughs> Thank you for watching.